Hey, this is Amanda from The Fundamental Home, and today is Thursday, and it's my grocery shopping haul day. And I'm really excited to show you what I got today, but a couple of things. First, I have a little bit of video for you, and again, it's just a little bit of our uh, discount grocery store. We just showed you a couple more aisles, and one thing I will say is that this week it was way busier. It was ridiculous. It was like Black Friday. People were like hovered around the produce area and other areas of the store. You could barely squeeze through. There were like no shopping carts. It was outrageous. And uh, I know why. <laughs> and that's the other thing I'm going to say. When you see the grocery haul, I went way over budget. I like doubled my budget practically. So um, not even practically. I think I straight up doubled my budget. But that's okay because um, there's a reason for that, which I'm going to explain it in just a minute. But first, let me show you the footage. And I'm just going to put the footage uh, over uh, music and you'll get to see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the little bit of footage and then I'll be back to tell you about overspending. Okay, so I hope you like that little bit of footage. I'm going to try to get some more next week and uh, we'll just, like I said, just keep doing a few aisles at a time so you can see what it looks like. And um, this week I said I overspent. And I'm going to tell you right before I even show you what I purchased that uh, a lot of things that I purchased were gluten free. And that is because in a couple of weeks, uh, Ricky and Brianna are going to go to camp again this year. And uh, Ricky, of course, is gluten-free, so he can't eat the camp food. So they send you a menu in advance, and then you have to pre-pack meals that don't work with your child's allergy. Well, of course, Ricky's allergic to gluten, which is in pretty much everything. So I pretty much have to pack him a week's worth of gluten-free food that um, is good and will make him not feel like he's, like, the weird one. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, so... Um, the great thing and the reason why the store was packed today was because they I mu they must have got an amazing truck because there was so much stuff there it was crazy but I got the best deal on some gluten free things. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. So I can't wait to show you that. I'm going to show it to you here in a second. But I'm I'm telling myself that the over budget is in preparation for the coming weeks when Ricky is going to camp. So uh, we'll just deal with that when it comes. But uh, all of it, uh, you know, gluten free stuff. A lot of it's frozen. And so it's it's within date, of course, and it will be in date when he goes to camp, and it'll be perfect um, for him to take to camp with him. They have a you know they have a kitchen area, and they can put things in the freezer, and it's all labeled, and you know they have a very specific thing. So anyway, so that is the majority of what I purchased this time that went over the budget. That's how I'm rationalizing it. But uh, wait till you see it. Wait till you see. Okay. All right. Without further ado. We'll do the grocery haul. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen and on the board, there it is somewhere. There, we have the totals and you can see how much I overspent, seriously. Um, discount grocery store was $39.26, Aldi was $21.82 for a total of $61.08. So I pretty much doubled what I normally spend. Don't have anything on the menu plan yet. You'll have to wait till tomorrow for that. But anyway, so let me show you what I got. Here's my receipts. 2182. This was from Aldi. And this is from the discount grocery store. Thursday, May the 4th, Star Wars Day, and 3926. So I'm gonna start with the discount grocery people, seriously. Wait, look at all I got for $60 though. Honestly. I could barely fit it all on the table. And it, I mean I got a ridiculous amount of I told Brianna I was even impressed with myself. Like this was this was a really, really good shopping experience. And look, I mean, look at all the healthy stuff. I know you're impressed with my healthy stuff, right? Okay, so look, let me start with the discount grocery. Well, we'll start with Aldi. Aldi was the smaller one. So at Aldi, I got avocados. And let me just say the avocados were 79 cents each. And to buy a bag of three avocados was $3.29. And I thought, hold on, and I almost grabbed the bag. I really did. And then I looked at the individual price and I thought, 
It's only two forty for three. Three twenty nine for three in a bag. Better deal. And I actually the other ones were more ripe and I kind of wanted ones that weren't quite ripe yet. So anyway, two forty for all of those. Uh, the lemons. How much were the lemons? <laughs> I'm gonna look for a second. Two forty nine on the lemons. Okay. Um, I may as well hold my receipt in my hand so I can remember. The um, heavy whipping cream I got, and that was $1.89. Two cans of black beans. Those were 59 cents each. I got the pecan halves. That's the last of my uh, nuts. I've been collecting nuts every single time we go to the grocery store, I get a different bag of nuts. So um, this uh, pecan halves was $5.99, and it was for 10 ounces. And it was actually uh, the same price for the chopped pecans. But um, this was not chopped and you get more ounces. It was 10 ounces. And I thought, I have those new knives. I can chop them up real fast. So it was worth it to me. Then I got some gluten-free pasta. Ricky's asked that I make uh, fagioli. So I'll probably be making that here soon. And I went ahead and got some almond milk. And that was it. That's $20. Can you believe that? I mean, it doesn't seem like much, but that is $20. Oh, no, one more thing. Grapes. Grapes were $3.79, a little pricey, but Brianna wanted some, so anyway, so all of that $20. Now, I mean, in fairness, the pecans and the grapes right there, $10, so everything else was another $10. Not too much for $20. When you think about that's all I got, this little bit for $20, and all of this was $40, I mean, this is, this is outrageous. So let me tell you what I got at my discount grocery, okay? First of all, I got this turkey bacon. It's kind of starting to defrost a little. I got to get it in the freezer. But it, I don't know if you can see the price there. $1.99, turkey bacon. I got this entire package of chicken thighs. I'll make a couple different meals for $2.50. Super proud of that. And since we're talking about meat, I'll take you over to the front of the table. They had the chopped steaks again. And look, they were $2. It's kind of upside down. But you can read it, $2. Remember I did those with the Salisbury steak? I don't know if you guys tried it. It's really, really, really good. So um, I'm really excited, and there I got five of these. So that right there was $10 of that whole purchase. But I mean, I can make so much food. This is uh, 20 ounces, one pound, four ounces of beef, 100% pure beef. It was really good the last time we got it, so great price there. And then you know what? We're talking about protein. You already saw this, but two and a half dozen eggs for $1.99. On the Frugal Family Food Group, people talk a lot about their egg prices, and I know at different places, egg prices are much cheaper than they are here. I do not have the cheapest egg prices. So, but this is a really good price for my area, and I was excited. Um, celery, I think a celery was two for a dollar, so this was 50 cents. This bag of salad was 50 cents, and by the way, in date, May 10th. Um, this bag of spinach was 99 cents. May 7th. People always ask about the dates, and I tell them, I gotta watch the dates. I, I don't go off dates, so I mean, this is all good stuff. Um, while we're talking about produce, these are like really funny looking, like oddly shaped oranges, mandarin oranges. Um, and they had boxes of them, and they were 10 for a dollar, and they kind of looked funny. I wasn't sure about them, but uh, a couple of people had kind of, I, I'm telling you, they were mobbed like Black Friday. And they had opened them up and they were tasting them. I did not do that. I do not condone that. I'm simply saying that, that is what they did. And they started, you know, talking about how good they were and snatching them up. So, of course, everybody was snatching them up. And I thought, you know what, 10 for a dollar, I can spend a dollar on that. Because I love oranges, as you know. So, we got 10 of them. Beef steak tomatoes for these were a dollar. <sighs> a thing of sour cream was a dollar. A dollar fifty for yogurt. And um, when we were in the frozen section, I saw these mango chunks. This is, bag was two dollars. Um, I love mango. I don't know if you know that. And a dollar fifty for frozen raspberries, which is great. I don't have I told you Brianna is allergic to strawberries. I don't know if I mentioned that to you. So when we make smoothies, you'll notice we don't put strawberry in anything. This is Brianna right here. So she'll she'll do raspberries. We love raspberries. So then we hit the gluten free stuff. Now look at this. These Udi's Blueberry Muffins. We have gotten these there before, and they are delicious. $1.99, and I got two of them. Ricky said the last time we got them, he said, get those again. They are so good. So I'm, these were in the freezer. I have to go back in the freezer, and um, he's going to take some of those to camp with him for breakfast. But also, for breakfast at camp, 
We got these, it's apple cinnamon gluten-free waffles for $1.50. So that'll be a nice uh, breakfast treat for him there when he's at camp too. Then we got these Ian's organic chicken nuggets that are gluten-free and they are $1.50. And the, the, the important thing that I must mention is Ricky is also allergic to nuts. And this is no peanuts or tree nuts. Now we've had these blueberry muffins, so I know this is dairy, soy, and nut free. It says right on there. This is also nut free. So these work for him, but it's, I have to be careful. A lot of times um, with different things, they use nut flours. So I was very glad to find thing, things for him that were gluten free and nut free. So it was a challenge. So I mean, I mean, all of this gluten free stuff, $1.50. I saw these gluten free hamburger buns, $1.00. Can you believe that? So of course I got two of them and then I can easily pack him some hamburgers for camp. I mean, such an easy thing for him to make. Again, you can see right on there, nut free. Perfect for Ricky. So all of this was really, really good deal and stuff that I can use when he goes to camp. I'm sorry for my finger right there. Um, but anyway, I'm so excited. And this is a lot of food, particularly with our special diet needs for $60. So yes, I went over, but I'm, I'm taking it out of the camp budget. So anyway, so that's what we got this week. Thumbs up people if you're excited about all my good deals. It's down there in the bottom. And um, that's that. So I am super happy with how we did. I'm super happy with it. I don't even mind going over when I have a purpose for it. I have the money for it. And I get such good bargains. Like that gluten-free stuff is so hard to find. I mean, it really, really is. If you've ever tried to look for that for your family, it's so hard to find. And it's good to stock it up and have it ready. I still wish I had a freezer. I'm going to get a freezer soon. I'm going to get a freezer soon. Got to. <laughs> but anyway, I just keep spending on cars and things. <laughs> but a uh, little car update. Uh, our car, the blue car, Ricky's blue car, is currently in the shop and they are working on it and they're supposed to keep it till tomorrow because they're just trying to keep it till tomorrow. They're trying to work on it and get it done. So hopefully by tomorrow the blue car will be back. And Monday the new car that we just got is going in to be painted. Hopefully that'll be, that's gonna be there from Monday to Wednesday. And hopefully it'll be back Wednesday. And, and if I can get it back in time, I will show you, I'll make a video and show you what it looks like when it's all, all painted and pretty and then Yay, well hopefully, Lord willing, we will have three cars for the four people in our house who need to go places. <laughs> so, and then we'll work on, after we get all that settled, we'll work on figuring out a van. But you know, we're paying for camp. And um, <laughs> we just got some other things happening. So we'll, we'll see about that van. Man, that might need to wait up just a minute. But anyway, um, tomorrow, Frugal Family Food this month. Oh my word, I couldn't wait to tell you about this month Frugal Family Food. Okay, I know it's a long video, I'm sorry. Um, tomorrow, this whole month of May, we're doing make your own. Yes, make your own. Make your own items. Like uh, make your own taco seasoning, make your own mayonnaise, stuff like that. But every person's own individual take on making your own things at home. And tomorrow, it's me and I'm not telling you what I'm making yet. You'll have to wait till tomorrow to see my video. So um, anyway, tomorrow, make your own uh, for Frugal Family food. So don't forget to check that out. So, all right, that is it, you all. Grocery haul, I talked about Frugal Family food, I talked about, I think that's everything. So you all have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things and check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it because there's way more details there. And uh, here over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by and we'll see you next time. Bye.